Okay, I'm just going to run the crown demo now. Now watch the uh, watch the total memory usage in the Intel coprocessor control panel as the the crown demo initializes. You'll watch it. See it building now, 2 gigabytes, 3 gigabytes, 4 gigabytes, 5 gigabytes, 6 gigabytes, still rising. Okay, so 9 gigabytes of memory used on the card to run this. And again, power usage is down at 130 watts, uh, it's, it's bumped up now, 195 watts, so similar to the Cornell box. And we're getting 30 frames per second. So, if we compare that to our, what were we getting in Windows? We we're getting about, we were getting about 25 frames per second, weren't we, on the on the dual Xeon? So, not bad really, 30, 31 frames per second. Let's see if I can zoom in a bit, like I did on the other one. See what happens then. So let's. Uh, Trying to zoom in a bit. The controls are slightly different on this one. I can hear the fan working harder on the card as we zoom in here. I'll leave it there, it's not quite the same as the other one, but it's closer and it's focusing in on that ruby, so let's have a look at the card. Now we're still, still running about the same. 187 watts. And performance, 18 frames per second there, so it's performing quite a lot better than the Xeon, because we dropped the Xeon, so we dropped down to 9 frames per second, and just, that's better. Let's just zoom in a bit closer to give a fair comparison. If it will let me. It's a bit interface here is a bit. That's it. And pull it in hard. That's it. Okay. Yeah, so it has dropped down now. We've got it about where where the other one was. We were getting 9 frames per second on the dual Xeons. And we're getting just under 13 frames per second there. So I'll just let it run for a bit. Let's check out the 200 watts. So, yeah, we're getting... You can see that the utilisation of the cores has it's gone up a little bit. So the card's working pretty hard now. Fans working harder to maintain 62 degrees. Might need to tweak that speed of that fan off a bit, keep it a little bit cooler. I'll just leave that running for a little bit. Well, obviously, the quality of the image is, you know, it's it's comparable, same as the conventional processors. So it looks like, from what we can see, that one of these Xeon Phi cards, this is 7120p, it performs slightly better than the, the dual 2680 Xeon, so 3 gigahertz Ivy Bridge Xeons, 10 cores, 20 threads each, Phi's a little bit faster, so not bad really when you consider you could squeeze 8 of them into one machine, but video's been a bit bit hit and miss but I hope it gives you a little bit of a uh, sort of a little bit of an insight into the performance of these of these quite interesting pieces of hardware just sad that um, you know no one's ever really written any sort of 
interesting sort of demo software for them or anything like that. You would have thought Intel could have. I suppose they were just relying on the supercomputer market. Maybe they didn't feel the need to sort of write anything to interest commercial co customers. But I always think it's a bit of a, a shame. But I'll say I've done my best here to um, show the card running. Okay, more videos soon.